something just changed with Comet 3 I Atlas, and NASA is not talking about it. New calculations from orbital mechanics experts show this object is not following the path we expected. The trajectory has shifted. And right now, some scientists are quietly asking a question no one wants to say out loud. Is this thing adjusting its course? In the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna show you the data, the math, and why December 19th just became the most important date in astronomy. Let's get into this. Real quick, before we go further, you need to subscribe right now. Here's why. We're tracking this object in real time. Updates are coming fast. And on December 19th, we're posting breaking coverage of what happens when it reaches closest approach. You don't wanna miss that. Hit subscribe, turn on notifications. Okay, here we go. Let me explain what's happening with this trajectory. When 3i Atlas first showed up in our solar system, astronomers calculated its path. They do this all the time. You measure the speed, the direction, the gravitational pull from the sun, and you can predict exactly where something will go. This is not guesswork, it's math, precise math. 3i Atlas was supposed to be on a hyperbolic orbit. That's a fancy way of saying it comes in, swings around the sun, and shoots back out into deep space. One pass, that's it, gone forever. But here's the problem. New data from December 5th shows the object is not following that curve. The deviation is small, but it's there, and it's consistent. So what does not following the curve mean? Imagine you throw a ball. Gravity pulls it down in a smooth arc. You can predict exactly where it will land. But what if, mid-flight, the ball changes direction slightly? Not randomly, not bouncing off something, just adjusting. That's what 3i Atlas is doing. Dr. Marco Michelli from the European Space Agency confirmed it. We're observing non-gravitational acceleration. This is not new for comets, but the magnitude and consistency are unusual. Translation, comets can change direction naturally. Gas vents open up, they push the comet slightly, it happens. But three, I Atlas, the push is steady, controlled, not random. And that's making people nervous. Now, before you think this means it's gonna hit Earth, stop. That's not what's happening. But what is happening is almost more interesting. Let's talk about what direct path to Earth orbit actually means. First, let me be very clear. This object is not going to hit Earth. That's not what the data shows. What the data does show is this. 3i Atlas is shedding material, lots of it heavy particles, pebbles, gravel-sized chunks. And those particles, they're not leaving the solar system. They're staying here. Here's why that matters. When the sun heats up a comet, it releases gas and dust. Fine dust gets blown away by sunlight. It's gone in weeks. But heavy particles, pebbles, small rocks, they don't blow away. They're too heavy. Instead, they settle, they drift, and eventually, they fall into orbits around the Sunday. So the question is, are these particles going to cross Earth's orbit? The answer is yes. Some of them already are. Dr. Paul Chodas from NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies ran the calculations. He found that debris from 3i Atlas will intersect Earth's orbital path starting in late 2026. Not the comet itself. The debris trail, it's leaving behind. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Normal comets shed debris randomly. It scatters in all directions. But 3i Atlas is releasing material in concentrated bursts, directional jets. And those jets are aimed. One burst occurred right after perihelion. That's when it passed closest to the Sunday. The timing is almost too perfect. Heat the object, activate the release, deposit the payload in a stable orbit. If you were designing a probe to leave something in our solar system, this is exactly how you do it. And it gets stranger, because when scientists measured how this thing is moving, they found something that doesn't make sense. Okay, so we know 3i Atlas is changing its path slightly. But how is it changing? Comets change direction because of outgassing. Gas escapes, creates thrust, pushes the comet. It's like a natural rocket engine. This is normal, but here's what's not normal. When outgassing happens, 
It's messy. The comet tumbles. It wobbles. The thrust comes from random vents opening and closing. It's chaotic. 3i Atlas? Smooth. Steady. The acceleration is consistent. Dr. David Farnakia from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory said, the object is exhibiting predictable non-gravitational forces. That suggests a stable venting pattern. What does that mean in plain English? It means the comet is not tumbling. It's oriented. The vents are not random. They're positioned in a way that creates stable thrust. Now, that could be natural. Maybe the object has a specific shape and rotation that creates this effect. It's possible, but here's the detail that makes scientists uncomfortable. Remember that anti-tail? That narrow spike pointing at the sun? It's still there, and it's acting like a stabilizer. Think of it like this. Imagine a rocket in space. To fly straight, you need thrusters pointing in different directions. You fire one thruster to push forward. You fire side thrusters to keep from spinning. The anti-tail pointing at the sun, that's creating drag, resistance. And the main outgassing jets, they're pushing from the back. The result, stable, controlled acceleration. Is it natural? Maybe. Could random venting in a lucky shape create this effect? Sure. But when you add it all up, the steady signal, the directional debris, the color changes, the chemistry, it starts to look less like luck and more like design. Now, let's talk about what happens on December 19th because this is when everything comes together. December 19th. That's when 3i Atlas reaches its closest point to Earth. 1.88 astronomical units. That's about 175 million miles. Far, yes, but close enough for every major telescope to see it clearly. What are scientists looking for? Three things. First, the nucleus. Right now, we can't see the actual object. It's wrapped in a thick cloud of gas and dust. We know it's big somewhere between three and five kilometers wide, but we don't know its shape. On December 19th, the viewing angle changes. The sun lights it from the side. The gas cloud thins out. We might finally see the solid object underneath. Is it irregular, jagged, like a normal comet? Or is it smooth, cylindrical, symmetrical? If it's smooth, we have a problem. Natural comets are jagged. They're rubble piles, chunks of ice and rock loosely held together. They don't have clean shapes. But if 3i Atlas has a defined shape, smooth surfaces, geometric form that suggests something else entirely. Second, the rotation rate. We still don't know how fast this thing is spinning. That matters because rotation affects outgassing. If it's spinning fast, the steady signal makes sense. If it's spinning slowly, the steady signal is impossible to explain naturally. On December 19th, we should be able to measure the rotation by watching the brightness change. If the object is irregular, it will get brighter and dimmer as it spins. If it's smooth, the brightness stays constant. Third, the trajectory adjustment. This is the big one. If 3i Atlas is going to make another course correction, it will likely happen near closest approach. Why? Because that's when Earth's gravity has the most effect. If the object fires, thrusters, or vents gas to adjust its path, we'll see it. The acceleration will spike, the trajectory will shift, and we'll have our answer. So what are the possible explanations for all of this? Let's break them down. Scenario one, it's a normal comet. This is what NASA officially says. Yes, it's unusual. Yes, it has strange chemistry and odd behavior, but comets are weird. We've only studied a few interstellar objects. Maybe this is just how some comets from other star systems behave. The steady signal, even venting. The anti-tail, a rare but natural phenomenon. The trajectory adjustment, normal outgassing creating thrust. Possible, yes. Likely, that depends on how much coincidence you're willing to accept. Scenario two, it's a panspermia object. This is the life spreader theory. The idea is simple. Life doesn't originate on just one planet. It spreads. Comets and asteroids carry the building blocks, amino acids, organic molecules, and deposit them on new worlds. Three, I Atlas has the chemistry, methanol, 
hydrogen cyanide, the exact compounds needed to jumpstart life. It's shedding heavy particles that will drift in our solar system for thousands of years. Some will eventually hit Earth, Mars, Europa. Is it deliberate? Not necessarily. It could be a natural process. Comets have always carried organic molecules. Maybe interstellar comets are nature's way of spreading life across the galaxy. Scenario three, it's something else. This is the one nobody wants to say out loud, but the evidence keeps pointing here. The stable signal, the controlled acceleration, the directional debris release, the anti-tail acting as a stabilizer, the precise timing of the outbursts, the chemistry designed for life. If you wanted to send a probe to another star system, how would you design it? You'd coat it in ice to protect it from radiation during the million year journey. You'd use the destination star for gravity assist, dive close, gain speed, adjust course. You'd release payloads, seeds, samples, markers in stable orbits where they could be found later. You'd use directional jets to maintain orientation. And if you wanted to study the system quietly, you'd make it look natural. You'd make it look like a comet. Here's the uncomfortable truth. 3i Atlas does everything a probe would do. Does that mean it is a probe? No. It means we can't rule it out. So where does that leave us? On December 19th, we get answers. The telescopes are ready. The observation window is set. We're going to see this object more clearly than ever before. If it's natural, we'll know. If there's something strange about its shape, rotation, or behavior, we'll see it. And if it makes a course correction, if the trajectory shifts in a way that can't be explained by random outgassing, then we have a very different conversation to have. Here's what you need to do right now. First, subscribe to this channel and turn on all notifications. We're posting live updates on December 19th. You need to be here. Second, drop a comment. What's your theory? Natural comment, life spreader, or something we're not ready to name. I wanna hear what you think. Third, share this video. Most people have no idea this is happening. This could be the most important astronomical event in decades, and it's flying under the radar. December 19th is eight days away. The countdown is on. We're gonna find out together. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.